Derived alarms are one of the more powerful things you can do with your NetGuardian RTU because they take you beyond simple, this contact closure latched, therefore this alarm gets set. And you can get into more advanced processing like, let's say that we have a generator. And our generator, like most generators, exercises itself on a regular basis. And in our case, that means that Tuesday morning, 10 a.m., it runs for one hour. Knowing that, we don't much mind if the generator runs during that hour because it's supposed to. We'd actually be worried if it didn't. But if it runs outside of that window, that is a potential item of concern because clearly we've lost power or for some reason the generator decided it needed to run. So we need to know about that. So let's look at how we would set up that kind of logic in a NetGuardian remote. I have a NetGuardian M16 G2 here as an example. So we'll first go to provisioning and then to alarms because we first need to set up just a simple generator run discrete alarm point. You can see that I already have three alarms set up. So I would have wired the generator run contact closure from my generator to alarm input four on the NetGuardian. And once I've physically done that wiring, then I can come into this interface and give it a nice clear name like generator. And we don't say generator run because we can actually customize the alarm and clear labels. So we'll call this run and stop. And then we'll click save. We do need to write to the unit's memory, but for now we're gonna make a couple other changes and then we'll come back and write them all at once. So the next thing we need to do now that we have a simple is the generator running alarm point is work out the scheduling component. And we go to timers to do that. And here we have a feature called time tick that historically was created so that the RTU could send an alarm every five minutes or every 30 minutes. This was just a keep alive or heartbeat function to tell you, yes, I'm still here, yes, I'm still here. But there's a time tick variation that we can use for scheduling and that's what we wanna select. So we'll click this radio button. You can see the format changed. And this lets us set this time tick point during a certain window on every day or only on a certain day of the week. And that day of the week is what would correspond to our generator here. So we want to say, it's not actually Monday, but rather Tuesday. And it's not 5, 10 in the evening, but 10 a.m. And our generator runs for 60 minutes. All right, and I will click save here. Again, it's saved locally. We do need to write to the unit, but we have one last step to get this set up. So now that we have our two components, we head over to derived alarms. And these are virtual or soft alarms that you program based on various input components. And we'll take a look at that here. I already have one set up, so I'll use derived alarm point two. And I can give it a name. We'll call it abnormal generator run because this is gonna be our generator operating outside of its normal window. And then in the details, the derived description, this is a logical formula that explains to this derived alarm when it needs to be set and when it needs to be clear. And to work that out and incorporate our two components, we need to go to the display map. So as you recall, we set up generator run on discrete alarm point four. So you can see in the display map that on the first line, Discrete alarm points one to 16 are points one to 16 on display one. So our generator run is display one and then point four inside of this range. So display one point four is generator run. The other piece was our time tick, which is down here. Display one point 50. So generator run is display one point four. Time tick is display one point 50. That's gonna be set during our weekly generator exercise window. So with those two in mind, we can now write an equation. And what we wanna say is, every one of our commands here has a two letter abbreviation, so this is not. So if not display 1.50, meaning if the time tick is not set, which by definition means we're outside of a one hour window on Tuesday morning, and display 1.4, and the generator is running, then throw this alarm. This is an abnormal generator run because we're not in the window and the generator's running. So that should give you a little taste of the power that you can get with derived alarms. You can also use derived alarms to power control relays in derived controls. So if you don't wanna just generate a soft alarm and have that reported to you, but rather you wanna instantly react and have the NetGuardian latch a relay, you can do that too. For more information about derived alarms and controls on NetGuardian RTUs, Call DPS at 
693-0351.